Anti-bronies. What is their deal? What logical reasoning is there behind hating innocent people that just happen to be fans of such a show known as My Little Pony? Well, put on your thinking glasses and brace yourselves because it's time to investigate. You steal cartoons from children. Are you freaking serious? Believe it or not, this is actually the most common and most recent complaint that people have against the Brony fandom. And to be honest, from a mainstream media perspective, this claim is the stupidest one I've ever come across. The most common defense I hear against this claim is if children can enjoy the cartoon as well as adults, then we aren't stealing anything. And that is 100% true. But nowadays, anti-bronies use this claim referring to the fact that certain fan-created material exists that may not be suitable for young audiences. And that by posting this material all over the internet, we're somehow taking away a child's ability to enjoy the show in their own way. Well, guess what? There's a simple solution to this problem. It's called being a parent to your child. Seriously, people. If a child sees something they're not supposed to see, it's not our fault for making it, and it's not your child's fault for watching it. It's your fault for letting them see it in the first place. Being a parent means taking responsibility for what your child says, does, or finds on the internet. And if you can't help your child find more appropriate material suitable for them, then don't leave them alone on the internet. We as bronies make family-friendly material as well as not-so-family-friendly material. So it's up to you as parents to be responsible and find the appropriate material for your children. My Little Pony is a little girl show. And? Dude, this is 2017. And here in America, we don't discriminate by race, religion, or gender. Now, I can't speak for other countries in regards to who has rights and who doesn't, but I'm pretty sure if people from Canada, Japan, Australia, and most of Europe are watching this, they would most likely agree that your gender doesn't necessarily dictate what you should and shouldn't like. In a nation where girls can like guy things, why can't guys enjoy girl things? Also, if you try to comment that girls can't like guy things, your comment will be deleted and repeat offenders will be blocked. End of story. You open your mouth and sing. Ponies are everywhere. So are fidget spinners, gay couples, and the internet. Go live in Amish country if you want to hide so bad, scaredy cat. Ponies are just for girls. Let the sail unfurl. Twilight sparkle and keep my apple jack and fluttershy. This section will discuss stuff pertaining to bronyisms. Things like bronies can't shut up, bronies are upset over the stupidest littlest of things, bronies won't give up trying to convert other people to their cause, bronies are a cull, blah blah blah. These complaints are simply nothing more than trying to assume the attitude of the entire fandom by a few odd members. Sure, there are bronies that add like that and I won't deny that they exist, but they do not represent the entire fandom. A lot of people use people like them to paint the brilliance in a bad light purely for shock value. Do not be afraid, we will never fade. The sad thing is though that they tend to ignore all the positive things that this fandom has brought to the community. Like raising money for charities, opening discussions on LGBT relationships, not to mention all the great original content people are creating. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover and you certainly shouldn't judge a fandom by just a few random people that take ponies to the extreme. So thanks, Brony, thanks. Looks like I've joined your ranks. In conclusion, you can hate on us all you want, but we're not going away. There are plenty of things to complain about in the world, and the show is not perfect by any means. But there's no reason to hate on an entire community of innocent people just for enjoying a TV show. And I dare anyone who still has doubts to meet me at Trocon and see what happens when you get up in my face and call me a horse fuck. <laughs>